we're here once again. Exiting our quiet domicile, our hidden place, that spot that keeps us safe. We step out into the morning sun. We have so many new tools in our arsenal. And as we approach a new position, as we walk on the cobblestone beneath us. There's a new sense, a sense of power, of strength, the magic now that we possess is deep, deep inside of us. One at the ready. It's time to go exploring. Our impish nature takes us far and we find ourselves nearly lost within the forest. inside that forest there's so many plants the smell of pine the red of fresh apples hanging from fruit trees the basking of animals in the trees, on the branches. There's so much to see. It's all around us. This magic that comes from within. In our darkest moments, it had always been there with us, waiting to be unlocked. And now that it has been, we see the world in a different light. We see each of the intricate pieces moving in tandem, nature and nurture coming together in life. As we see this, we wonder what to do, where to start. The 
the flushness of leaves, small plants and ferns, glowing as the sun hits the back of them. A beautiful sight to behold. The rays and shafts of the sun slithers of perfect glowing gold. The greenery caught afire with color. The joy of the high. Something comes to our mind. As we look around, finding the source of the apples. Plump. And entangled between leaves. Between branches. Stems attaching them to their anchor points. To their father or mother. The parent tree. Awaiting us. We step up towards it. Putting our hands on the bark. Finding the knots in the footholds. We climb. Maybe scraping a knee. The brazen nature of adventure. Making us pay a toll. Even if only a small one. Our constitution being tested as we ascend branch by branch, knot by knot. We make our headway. Until we reach the branch that is the lowest with its lowest hanging fruit. Stepping onto the branch, we lower ourselves, dispersing our weight as best as we can. Crawling and scooting up the tree itself, up its dangling limbs. Precision and balance. Care must be taken. Lest we fall. A few more inches. Our hand reaches out. The fruit is waiting for us ahead. We can see it shining against the light.
our hand only centimeters away. Must be recoiled as we begin to lose our grip. A close call. And so we extend just a little bit further. The tree branch shaking side to side as we do so. The creaking of wood. Leaves shake. Like petals falling from their, from their home. And as we shimmy just that small amount necessary. We reach once again. The apple within sight, within grasp, and finally, within touch. In one motion, we grasp. and pluck in one solid effort. And before we know it, there's an apple between our fingers resting against our palm. There's a glee and a gratitude. But then we must begin our backwards dance back down the tree itself. Somehow it's more difficult climbing down than it was going up. We manage the slippery body of the tree. Finally letting go of it. We land on both feet. Loosening our muscles is not to hurt ourselves. And on the ground, we hold this new fruit in our hands. We do what's natural to us. Reaching down with our face. And taking a quick chomp biting all the way to the core. Pulling our head away, we rip out a large segment of apple. The juice is running rampant and wild on our taste buds. 
the crispness, the crunch. And alongside that, we found a single seed within. After disposing of the rest of the apple, we take the seed in hand, finding a lovely little spot in a field just outside the reach of the other trees. And we plant the apple seed, digging up a spot in the ground and placing it within, covering it over with a small topsoil. We take out our wand and we place it against the earth. That rotoscope of energy crosses over the top of it like a spark of lightning. And as it connects with the ground, it creates a spot. Just a single one, interacting with the earth, crossing through. It's energy pouring slipping into the cracks stretching across the fabric And as it does so, landing on the inside of the seed, immediately stretching it, making its roots extend outwards, making its stem and body expand, giving it life. as it breaks through its shell and it grows almost like in time-lapse form it extends upwards up and up and up before it reaches the surface of the dirt above it we place out our hand watching as the stem unfurls the tiny seedling growing at a major and overwhelming rate. We place our hand out and touch it, feeling the expansion, watching as it flourishes right between our fingertips. Its growth seems unstoppable. It grows into a sapling too big for one hand. Bark begins etching along its sides. Like rising dough, the green expands into brown and beige. We watch as the colors switch, as leaves bloom. As the tree pushes and pushes. 
stretching its limbs outwards, growing branches, growing appendages. Empowered by the magic within, it stretches towards the sky, now almost as tall as we are. The earth begins to shift underneath it as its roots grow deeper and deeper. We watch and place a hand against the trunk, seeing it thrive and bewilder the area around it as it sucks in the bad air, releasing the good. It grows up and above us. Birds come, drawn like moths to a flame, landing on the branches. They watch, strangely curious, to what might be happening here. The tree blossoms outwards again. The rapidity seems to be slowing down as it becomes a fully formed tree. We see the apples start as small red dots. but quickly flourish alongside it. And before we know it, with just a little bit of love, we have a whole new tree before us.